In this video we will look at the OBJ file format. The OBJ file format was developed by Wavefront Technologies. The file format is now open and has been adopted by many other 3D modeling tools. It is most commonly used for polygon-based modeling. OBJ files contain three types of geometric entities, points, polyline, and polygons. Polylines are called lines. Polygons are called faces. In addition, the entities can also be grouped. Each group has a name, and can contain a mixture of lines and faces. Each entity can be in more than one group. The diagram shows a hierarchy of entities. At the top there are two groups. In the middle there are three entities, a line, a face, and another line. And at the bottom there are a set of vertices and a set of vertex normals. In this case, the lines are each in only one group. But the face is in two groups. The entities are defined by referencing the vertices and vertex normals. Vertices can be shared. In this example, we can see that two of the vertices are shared. Note that the concept of a vertex in OBJ is different from Mobius. In Mobius, a distinction is made between vertices and positions. Vertices are specific to objects and are never shared. Vertices can then share positions. For OBJ files, vertices are actually just the coordinates. The OBJ file also uses a text file format. So the file can be opened in any text editor and inspected. Here we can see the contents of an OBJ file. Each line of the file represents a separate entity. The example contains four types of entities, vertices, vertex normals, faces and lines. The vertices are defined by XYZ coordinates. The vertex normals are defined by a vector. The lines and faces are defined by referencing the vertices and vertex normals. OBJ files can include materials. The materials are actually defined in a separate file with a .mtl extension. One OBJ file can be linked to multiple material files. The OBJ file then references specific material names. In addition to the name, each material has various settings. These include colors, transparency, and texture maps. The images used for the texture maps are also saved as separate files. So an OBJ model can actually consist of a whole set of separate files. All these files can be saved in the same folder, or in subfolders under the OBJ file location. In general OBJ files are very weak at supporting semantics. Entities can be in groups. And group names can allow minimal semantics to be conveyed. With regards to attributes, only certain predefined attributes are allowed. Namely colors, normals, and textures. The representation does not allow for polygons with holes. In order to model holes, there are two main workarounds. The first is to split the polygon into multiple smaller holes. The second is to create a single polygon that loops around the hole. The second workaround will result in a pair of adjacent edges forming a hairline crack. These edges can have shared vertices. In theory, the OBJ format can also support freeform geometry, such as NURBS surfaces. The OBJ specification describes how spline-based geometry can be stored in an OBJ file. However, in practice, support for these features in third-party applications is rare. When exporting to an OBJ file, spline-based geometric entities will typically be converted to polylines and polygons. The example shows such a conversion process in Rhino. When NURBS surfaces are converted, the level of detail can be defined. More detail means greater accuracy, but also many more polygons.